Okay, so we have two people who are from the team who won the hackathon. Um, can you give us a brief introduction of yourselves? Um, yeah, my name is Sasha. I'm a junior at Pitzer, I'm, and I'm majoring in computer science at Harvey Mudd. <laughs> I'm Rupert. Um, I, I'm Rupert Deese. I go to Harvey Mudd. I'm a junior, also majoring in computer science. Okay. Can you tell us briefly about your project? Yeah, so we made um, an app that looks at where you are like, at any given point in time and then uses that location data to ask Spotify for... Sorry, SoundCloud. Sorry, SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long night. <laughs> uh, to ask SoundCloud for, the, for artists who are based in that area and then place tracks based on those artists. So if you're going on a road trip or if you're in a new place or if you just want to hear artists like in your hometown that you might not have heard before, you can... Use our app. <laughs> the concept was like a local music radio, kind of like a kind of thing that lets people explore SoundCloud, which has so much like great music on it, but in a way that's not very intimidating. You know, it just plays a song. Uh -huh. So, how did you come up with this idea? Or <laughs> um, like, <laughs> what happened? Sasha, Sasha um, wanted to use the SoundCloud API. Uh -huh. um, and we, we, we bounced around a lot of ideas before settling on this one. So yeah. I think like we both kind of brought something to the table because yeah. Rupert really was keen on like finding something to do with location and I really wanted to use the SoundCloud API and so this was kind of the best of both Yeah, worlds. it was kind of the, we were initially going to do like a jogger thing that like tracked and like, you know, played something at the same tempo that you were moving. But I mean like that's kind of limited like use. So when we kind of combined the like moving location and Spotify thing, I mean, uh, <laughs> SoundCloud thing, um, it was just kind of like it seemed like a good idea. Yeah, plus and this was like this yeah. was like a, like a night before the, the hackathon, <laughs> so we were just like, all right, right like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we go on a lot of road trips together, also. Okay. So Rupert was kind of like, don't have to DJ yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So, what was the biggest obstacle that you guys faced during the hackathon? Hmm. That one bug. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha had trouble with um with this one. There was this, the, you're talking about the repeating the recurrent bug. Yeah. There we had there was like this one bug that involved basically just simple math or like yeah <laughs> and like it was just it just became very difficult for us over time <laughs> but yeah. I mean I would say probably like I think like like we did good we did well on this but I feel like it was like the most significant challenge that we faced was just like keeping organized for the entire time and like yeah. staying on track yeah like taking the time to like kind of step away we'd always we'd have these like moments where we'd be like okay we gotta stop coding for a minute we gotta we have to like step back and be like okay so what are we gonna do next and like how should we organize this so that it'll actually turn out and look well and you know move, go quick <laughs> um have you participated in hackathon before no 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 okay. yeah. do you think you'll participate again again next year I mean. Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. because we like, we like, I'm like, I'm honestly just like excited to put the app on the app store. Yeah. And I had a really good time seeing what everyone else like put out. You know, like, I think a lot of the ideas that like we saw were like, I was just like so much more impressed with what some people were doing than what we yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. And it's also, it's also nice to like really be forced to focus on just doing development because a lot of other times when you're sitting around, you're like, oh, it's a due tomorrow. So I like, oh, I don't need to work on it. Or like you're less encouraged to work on side projects just like when you have all these other school work going on. So yeah, it was really fun for that reason. Well, how did it feel when it was announced that you guys were the winners? That's surprising. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of, I, I thought we were going to get best design because we really kind of copped out and spent like a lot of time making it pretty at the end. But um, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I like I was saying to Sasha, like, I like it's impossible to like deny like the like the like the desire to win. But you like always the part of it is you never feel like it's gonna be you. You're like, oh, yeah. no, I wasn't the best. Like, <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your project or your experience with Hackathon or um, anything else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.